Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Subrata Sarkar. I'm a mechanical engineer working on manufacturing and rustic since last 22 years. Today I'm going to discuss a very common topic which is known to everybody and everybody has got it but everybody needs to enhance it also that is personality. You know, you'll find there are a lot of definition what is personality in books and the internet but I'm trying to define it in a different way Hope you'll enjoy it. Now, take a moment and ask yourself few questions. Our first question is How well do you know yourself? What are you good at? What are your weaknesses? What are your strengths? What are your desires? Do you think? We all about it, we give time to ourselves and question ourselves and try to find the answers. Then we'll find a lot of things in personality will come out. We know about the you know, world, we know about the sports, we know about the science, we know about these uh, development, scientific development, computer, a lot of things. But unfortunately, we don't know about ourselves. We'll go through this video, you'll find that there are many things we don't know about ourselves, which we should know actually. For example, we all have one natural preferred sense. You know, there are uh, like three basic uh, types of human actually by uh, natural preferred sense point of view. One is the auditory people, you know, they are this uh, auditory natural uh, paper sense actually there are people who are visual by nature or category and there are people who are kinesthetic in nature now you ask yourself what is your category actually i'm sure you'll find whether you are a kinesthetic person or you are a visual person or you are a auditory person similarly if you ask yourself what is your natural preferred ego state? Ego state means a mental state actually. It's not related with your you know, age. A child, ego state of a child can be parent or ego state of an adult person can be child. There are three ego states. One is the child ego state, one is the adult ego state and one is the parent ego state. This is the mental state. And at the same time, in a particular moment, a person should have only one ego state. In a special, you cannot be a child, you cannot be a partly child, and cannot be a partly parent. Doesn't it? You can send this picture. Similarly, there are many things actually. What is the right way? Many people doesn't know actually this BMI concept, like what should be the ideal BMI. Even there are many people, they are having 18 BMI, like they are they're, they're having lower end of this uh, standard way still they are feeling they are a little more fat actually they need to reduce their weight and there are many people they are maintaining their BMI properly and there are people having 32 even more BMI even you know we don't know all this geometry like uh, circle, square, semicircle, oval if you show anything like a wheel of a car, so it is a round obviously, the window is a rectangle like that. Now, if we ask, what is the shape of your face, your own face? 80% of people don't know what is the shape of their face. And you know, 10% uh, that is 10% uh, people know, but not correctly. There are six actually, six types of faces uh, for human actually. So, what is your face shape? We must know. This is a very, very, it's a very common thing about ourselves. Whether my face is a oval, whether it's a long face, whether it's a round face, whether it's a diamond face, whether it's a square face, like that. What is the percentage of fat should be in your body? Many five percent people don't know actually, but that's an important factor. What is your WC era? What's the chest ratio? What's the hip ratio? What is your BCI? Body Carbonus Index. What is your air value? Is a physical attractiveness rating calculation? Is a mathematics comes under anthropometry. So these are the things about the human. But a very few people are you know interested and know about those. 
And a doctor know about the medicine, engineer know about the machine. It's a very simple thing actually. You, but every people should know about their own self. There are many such things actually, you know. We all, every day we see ourselves in the mirror from the front side. But very few persons see themselves from the back side. How we look from the back side when somebody see us in the back side. Many people think that, you know, who bothers about you? But you know, people see you when you walk from the back side. You can send this picture. So this is also a matter of concern. How I'm looking when I look from the back side. What is the percentage of time is smiling 24 hours? There are many people, you know, don't smile even 3-4 days. And there are people smile in every hours. So have you ever count how many minutes you smile in 24 hours? It reflects your personality. It reflects a lot of things about you. It reflects how you manage your emotions. It reflects about your maturity and a lot of other things. Now, if if I ask or if you ask to anyone, do you like to be loved? Do you like to be demanded? And everywhere in society, in your offices, do you like to be attractive? Do you like to be impressive? You know? Do you like to be well-mannered? Everybody will say yes, which is a part of personality actually. Now, we all have many different roles to play. Like in office, your manager, in home, your you know, father, home, your son also, uh, mother, you know, in a house, she's also a daughter of somebody, like that. So we all have many different roles to play in our life. And each role demands for different qualities in you. You may be good at something, you may not be good at other things. You may be a good manager in the office. But you may be a poor husband in the house or may not be a good father at all in the house. So this is a matter of, you know, in the, some totality of your personality, it matters. There's a book uh, on transaction analysis called The Adult is the Parent to the Child. You'll find a lot of information about the different role of a person needs to play and what are the, you know, uh, uh, you know there's a uh, demanded quality for those uh, roles actually you know a doctor may not be a good citizen isn't it an engineer may not be a good father or a good husband because both the role demands different qualities in him similarly a good father may not be a good husband because to be a good father, it needs some qualities, and to be a good husband, that means some other different qualities, doesn't it? Similarly, a good student may not be a good child. Once you be a good student, so only score mark well in the mark sheet is okay. But to be a good child, it needs a lot of qualities. Similarly, a good mother may not be also a good wife. Because to be a good mother needs some quality and to be a good wife needs some other different qualities. And so, you know, a good wife may not be a good mother. But at the same time, a good manager may also be a good father. A manager may also be a good husband. You know, a manager can also be a good wife, a good daughter. Now, what actually matters? Someone is good at everything and someone is good at something and not good at other things. You know, personality is the answer. Organizing personality or organized personality is the answer. Now, the question is, then what is personality? And who does have it? Does she have personality? Does he have personality? Do they have personality in this picture? Does he have personality, Mr. Barack Obama? Everyone will say yes, yes, he has a great personality. You know, personality is very easy to 
recognize. You can say some person is a good personality, you can easily recognize it's a very good personality. But it is very difficult to define or hard to define what is personality. By seeing someone, you can say he's a very good personality. Anybody can identify actually. It is very difficult to define what is personality. Isn't it? Is it a good height or good figure, this personality? Or is it a good complexion? Is it a good talent? Or good education, good academic qualification. What is this? Is a good dressing? Is a well speaking of English or some foreign languages? What is this? This personality. You know, personality is a dynamic organization in human, which basically is a psychophysical system that creates the person's characteristics pattern of the behavior and the thoughts and feelings. In a simple language, there is a combination of your physical qualities and mental qualities which reflects your behavior, activities. Or in other ways, there are many definitions. Is the algebraic summation of your physical quality and mental quality is personality. Or there are actually there are three main important things in personality. One is the heredity, one is the environment, and is the situations. You know, heredity is a, a one important factor in your personality. One is the environment, where you were, your upbringing, where you were, you know, your uh, childhood or your time of pain, and what is the situation you passed out. That is what is your truth, that is your personality. But it is never fixed. It is always, as I said, it is a dynamic organization. So always it can be changed or you know modified or enhanced or degraded even also, you know. Every person has personality. The question is whether it is an organized personality or unorganized personality. Actually, normally the organized personality we call is a good personality. Hello? If we decide to become a better person, so enhancement of the personality as the answer. Now, what is healthy personality? Is a good physique? It is a pleasing manner? Because as I say, personality cannot be a mental quality only. It is a combination of your physical quality as well as the mental quality. Both are equally important in personality. It is about the trustworthiness and reliability. It is your professional and personal integrity and it is actually, you know, your control over your body and mind. That is inter internal or external qualities or you can say your physical or mental qualities. How you, are, you have command on both the sides actually. That is uh, your uh, healthy personality actually. So in summary, personality is you. And you need to decide whether you need to improve or enhance it or you need to allow it to degrade or keep where it is now. So if you find this concept of a discussion of the personality, you can subscribe this video, you can give your comments, you can also get in touch with me on Facebook and LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.